What's going on, Eddie? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're going to see what we got for you, see uh, if there's anything we can do or help out or point out. So right off the bat, I love you have your logo here. I like how you have your home, your services, and contact us, chat now. Only thing I'm going to add over here is that you don't have a drop-down menu for your services or an About Us section. You typically would want that. And your number. I understand that it's over here, but typical practice is to put it up top over here where people can see it as well. Get a quote now, and these are great as well. I'm not going to say anything about it. But let's just scroll through. Welcome to Eddie's Painting. Currently planning our mission, our vision, why choose us. Excellent. About us. So you have an about us part. You just don't have an, an, a page for it. Uh, see the difference that our brand can make. Um, text. You would probably want to make that a click to call or click text button or something. I don't know. I don't know if you can make a click to text. So anyway, good job. What our clients are saying, it's good to have that. Uh, lead feedback, our work. Here are a few examples. Save them jazz. This lets me know how well. Oh, ouch. Okay, anyway. Um, and then that's it. So you do have, is that Yelp, I believe? Social media, Yelp, yeah. So you do have Yelp over here, powered by GoSite. I don't know fully who they are. I would probably say content would be a thing. You don't talk about your services. That's a big thing. I know you have services over here, but you're not talking about them specifically, except over here you are. And you might want to put that all on your homepage just to add uh, add stuff there. You definitely want links that jump everywhere. So you would want individual links and pages for each of the services you provide. The idea is to get somebody to come on here, pick on the service they want, move over there, and then move on. By calling you, of course. Anyway, uh, just going into the back end over here. Um, we don't really have much. A UR rating is how much Google likes you. And a DR rating, sorry, your website. And a DR rating is how much they trust you. Now, all that works on backlinks. Now, a backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it, and a referring domain is when it comes back to you. Not all are equal. Some are more spammy, like BuzzFeed and Wikipedia. You definitely want more blogs that, you know, like painter's blogs, stuff like that, that will really help you out. Um, and then finally, you have keywords. Now, a keyword is how somebody finds you, right? They type something in Google, and then you pop up. And you do have two really good keywords here. You have Professional Painter San Diego and House Painter San Diego, California. Now, the great news about these two keywords is that they are location specific and service specific. So somebody in your area is looking for a professional painter. Now they have volume 50 and 30 per month. You're not getting any traffic because you're on page like uh, 70 and like 101 and like 11. So you're on page seven and 11 over here. So not very good. Um, I mean, you are changing, I guess, but that's from three months ago. So um, you have the right idea as far as keywords go, but let's take a look at something else, right? Painter San Diego. So location and service specific, it's how they create Google ads with those two components involved. So you got a couple of ads over here. Um, Google ads are really good to get quick conversions from people, but not exactly. Uh, it, it can be, um, I mean, you got to spend money to make money. So there's that. And then finally, you can get an ad to be in the uh, Google My Business Profile area. You got your top three over here. Very important to be in the top three because about 30, 40% of all people will click on one of these three guys. Finally, you got your organic search. Now, anyone can appear here as long as you know what you're doing. You got Yelp as number one. Wow, one day painting as number two. Hughes is number three. And then we're going to do Drake, J. Brown painting because they're local instead of clicking on wow, one day painter. So let's take a look at the behind the scenes for them. So right off the bat, they are doing it a little backwards, but I'm not going to fault them for it. They got their number, the company with all drop down menus of everything that they are offering, which is really good. Um, big company skill, small company feel. Unfortunately, the only thing I don't like about scrolling through their website is that it takes me a certain amount every single time I go. But they are talking a little bit about their services. I wonder if it'll do a drop down menu. It will not. I didn't want to do that. So they would want to talk about each one of those individually as well, instead of just having a link to the next page. At least they have a link. Not going to say anything. But you typically want about a paragraph per item. Um, and that content is key. So Google kind of likes that. Also, you can add new keywords. They got stucco repair. They have a whole bunch of different stuff. Video gallery. I don't know if it's worth it to have a video gallery. Just saying. See what our customers are saying. And then go to painting company. It's kind of just saying what they do, which I guess is fine. Um, past projects, which is fun, which is good. Wow, they only have one out here. I don't know. Maybe it was one of those jobs you can't just let go. And then some of their articles. So they have blogs, which is probably going to be what we find on the back end a little bit. But let's take a look at their uh, at their backend. So they have a UR rating of 31, which is really good. That means they have a lot of directories. And then uh, they do have a DR rating of 2.9, which is not the greatest comparatively to the fact that they have 949 different backlinks with only 185 referring domains. They do have 1,600 keywords. So let's take a look at what those keywords are and what they're ranking for. 
So we got, we're going to look at a few things. We're also going to not just look at the keyword. We're going to look at the volume it brings in and the traffic they're getting for the position they're in. Now they were, they did have this. Now this is a very, um, it's a keyword you don't really want simply because anyone in the United States can search for something like this and it's going to be a lot more difficult to rank. But this stuff is what you really want, right? I'm not even going to scroll further than this. You got house painting in San Diego. All of these are location and service specific. And look at that. 900, 1200, six, uh, 1550 right off the bat. And he's bringing in almost 200 people with just those uh, right there. Now, when you're typically ranking one, two, and three, you'll get about you know, 10, 20% of people to your website. So as you scroll through, each one he's ranking for are a not only a high volume as well, but they're also bringing in uh, people because he's on the front page. You definitely need to be on the front page. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to rank. Um, and then how does this really help you guys out? Honestly, all you got to do is three things. We got to get content on your website. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to add keywords in there. Once we get the right keywords in there, we also target backlinks and referring domains. Good news is you can take them over from Eddie, uh, not Eddie, sorry, from Jay Brown over here, find out the good ones he's using and then use them for yourself. And then you should be able to rank without any real issues. Now, again, it does take time, so it's not going to be an overnight process. It's, it you know, takes a little bit more than that. But that is how you start moving forward. Anyway, that's all I got. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Other than that, you have a good one. Bye.